Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial from SFDC Stop and in this video we are going to have a look at how we can define default parameters in ES6 functions, right? So let me just start by defining a function and uh, let's say this function is named as add and it will take two parameters a and b and uh, it will simply display me the result which is nothing but a plus b, right? So I'm going to call this function and I'm going to pass in two parameters, let's say 3 and 5. So the output should be 3 plus 5 which is equal to 8. So let me just run this code and we can see here that we are getting the output as 8. Okay, so the point is how we can define default parameters in this particular function if I want to do that. How I can define default parameters, right? So let's say I want to define a default parameter for B. So before ESX, what was the thing? Uh, we used to do it like this. So B is equal to uh, and then I'm going to write B here and I'm going to add a conditional operator and uh, I can simply say that if b is defined, I'll be using its value and in case b is not defined, I'll be using let's say 2 as the default value, right? So what I'm doing here, I'm adding a conditional operator which will check if b is defined, then it will be using b and in case b is not defined, it will be using 2 as the default value for b. So let's say I call, uh, I call this add function without a second parameter now and uh, I just clear the console and run this code. So here we can see we are getting the value as 5 because 3 is the first parameter that I'm passing. So it is the value of A and for the value of B, I haven't passed anything. So that is why it is taking 2 as the default value for B, which I have defined here and uh, it is showing me the result as 5, right? Now let's say uh, how we can define default parameter in, in case of ES6, right? So in case of ES6, this particular syntax becomes a lot more easy and what, I, what can I do? Let's have a look at that. So I'm just going to comment this code and uh, I'm going to write another function for ESX. So this time what we can do, we can directly assign a default value to B as 2. So this is how you can define default parameters now uh, in JavaScript functions that in case you don't have a value, uh, it will be automatically taking the value which, which is defined out here, right? So I can run this code again and I can simply see here that I'm getting the result again as 5 because this is the default value which is being used uh, in case I haven't defined any value for B, right? Okay, so this is how I mean we can define default values in function, but the point is what if I'm passing an object to a function because there is a catch in this particular syntax as well that in case I'm passing an object to a function, then we need to take care of uh, some particular uh, things, right? So let's let's create another function and uh, I'm going to name this function as let's say person age and this function will receive two parameters. The first is the age of the person and the second parameter will be the first name and last name of the function. So this is the first name and this is the last name and uh, let's say I'm just going to add a console.log here. So this console log will be uh, let's say first name and uh, I'll add a plus sign and then I'll add a space and then I'll add a last name right and then I'll add a plus sign and then I'll add a space again and uh, then I'll add a plus sign and then I'll add a uh, first name and first name uh, and then I'll add is over here and uh, after that I'll add age and then I'll add uh, space and then I'll say years and then old right so this is this is going to be something like uh, if I pass in Richard and Hendrix and pass in the age as 20 so it will show me like Richard Hendrix are, is 20 years old, so it should be last name, right? Okay, let me just call this function person age. I'm going to pass the age as 20 and I'm going to pass an object which will receive the first name as Richard, right? And uh, it will receive the last name as uh, Hendrix, right? Hendrix. Okay, so let me call this function and let's see what happens, right? Okay, so we can see the output is coming perfectly fine here and it is showing me that Richard Hendrix is 20 years old because I have passed an object here with the values as Richard and Hendrix and the first name is, uh, sorry, the age is 20, right? So it is showing me Richard Hendrix is 20 years old. So what if I don't pass anything out here and I want to use the default parameters? So let us just try uh, but without passing anything first of all. So let me clear the console and I'm going to run this code. So here you can see I am getting uh, an, an error which is showing me that cannot destructure property first name of undefined as it is undefined. So it is showing me that I cannot uh, I cannot extract first name from a property because this whole property is undefined. 
So if I ask you, how can you define the default parameters for first name and last name, then maybe you will tell something like this, right? So you can define, I mean, you can use the ES6 syntax Rahul and you can define the first name as, uh, let's say Richard here, and you can define the last name as, let's say Hendrix here, right? And you can simply call this code and it should work fine, right? So let me just try this and let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, we are getting an error still here and it is showing me that uh, cannot read property first name of undefined. So what JavaScript is telling me, JavaScript is uh, telling me now that hey Rahul, you have defined the first name as Richard, you have defined the last name as Hendrix, but you haven't defined anything for this particular whole object. So you haven't given a default value for this particular object as a whole. And that's why you are getting it as undefined because I know that the object properties uh, have a default value, but the object should have a default value in itself as well because this is being passed as a parameter, right? So the parameter is undefined, then I cannot definitely read a first name and last name of an undefined object. So what can I do for this particular case? I mean, there are two things. Let's say if you want to pass a empty object from here, then it should also work fine because anyways, you are passing an empty object, right? And it is going to take the default value as first name and last name. Let me just clear the console and try it again. So in this case, you, are, you can see here that we are getting our output, which is Richard Hendrix is 20 years old because I'm passing the uh, default value from the parameter itself. But this is not the way we define default parameters, right? Because if, if I have to uh, mention all the parameters while calling the function, then there is no point of calling it as a default parameter because the default parameters are basically where I don't have to pass all the parameters and I should get a default value, right? So how can I, I, how can I assign a default parameter for an object here? I can simply add an equal to sign and I can say that the default value for this particular parameter is an empty object, right? And uh, if I run this code again, then it should work fine. So let me just clear the console and let me run this again. And here you can see I'm getting the output now that Richard Hendrix is 20 years old. So this is how you can give a default value to the object. So the default value for this particular object, that is for this particular parameter, the second parameter for this function is the empty object. And uh, inside this object, I'm specifying that the first name will be having a value as Richard and the last name will be having a value as Hendrix, right? So this is how you can define default parameters in case of ES6. The syntax is same. You just have to add an equal to sign and add a default value after, after this. So in case of objects, you just need to take care of this thing that you have to define an empty value or an empty object for the whole object, as well as you have to define the default values for the keys that are inside the object. Otherwise, these keys will be undefined, right? So this is how you can define the default, default values for the function in ES6 JavaScript, right? Okay, so that's all for this tutorial everyone. I hope you liked it. Let me know your feedback in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a good day. Bye-bye.